Hello and welcome to How Do I Kitchen, the show where we teach you how to kitchen for your friends and family. Our menu this month focuses on the basics and this episode is our technical all about eggs. Eggs are an absolute must-have for any kitchen, and it's really not hard to see why. Egg yolks are delicious, and they're great as a binding agent in food. On the other hand, egg whites are really useful for whipping into a foam, which creates a beautifully light cake or souffle, or you can harden it into a meringue. And if that weren't enough, the whole product is sealed in its own protected but easily open container. Beyond their fantastic design, eggs are used in a variety of preparations. You can boil them, fry them, scramble them, poach them, omelettes, oh, cakes, souffles, meringues, the list goes on. But how do you get the most out of your eggs? Well, the first thing you need to know is how fresh they are, and we recommend the classic test of placing the egg in water. Fresh eggs lie horizontally in water as they are the least buoyant. This is because all eggs contain an air pocket that expands as the egg ages. The older your egg, the steeper the angle the egg will make with the bottom. The stalest eggs will sit completely vertical in the water or even float. When the eggs are cracked, a notable difference can also be seen. Egg whites are split into a thin and thick section, and in fresh eggs, the two different thicknesses have a clear separation. The yolk of a fresh egg should also appear solid. If the egg is stale, the thinner white is now completely dominant and the yolk is considerably flatter. If this were to be dropped into a frying pan, it would expand and fill the whole thing instantly. So in an ideal kitchen, it's best to know how fresh your eggs are, as different levels of freshness in eggs are useful for different things. You see, the freshest eggs are the most useful when the egg is cooked as is, where the white and yolk are preserved in place. Now these eggs are best fried, poached or boiled. Now, that's not to say that older eggs aren't useful too. They're great for mixing into omelettes or scrambled eggs. And staler egg whites are best when you're wanting to separate them and beat them into a meringue or pavlova. We have a few fresh eggs lying around, so we're going to teach you how to fry, poach and boil an egg. Fried egg. For the best results, your eggs should be kept at room temperature to be fried. These eggs must be absolutely fresh so that they hold their shape. Today we'll be showing you how to make a sunny side up with our runny yolk. Drizzle some oil to coat the bottom of your frying pan and keep it on a low to medium heat. The fat should not be spitting at you. Crack your egg into the pan. Here. A fresh egg will hold its shape and not completely flood the pan. Once the top of the white is set, your egg is ready. If you like the yolk solid, baste the top of the egg with the hot oil from the pan. Poached egg for the perfect poached egg, we recommend the following recipe. Really, the only secret is, again, fresh eggs. Get the water in your pan up to a simmer, and that means one or two bubbles venturing to the surface. The pan should not be vigorous in any way. Drop your eggs gently in from as low to the surface as you can get without burning your fingers. Cook the eggs for two minutes on the heat and then take your pan off the heat and leave it for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove the eggs from the pan with a slotted spoon. Leave them to drain on a piece of paper towel before you serve them. boiled egg. A reliable method of boiling eggs seems to have surfaced only recently. 
Take your eggs and place them in the smallest pan you own, filled with cold water. Heat them as quickly as possible and wait for the water to come to the boil. The water should be absolutely frothing. Once your eggs are boiling, remove them from the heat. Leave the eggs in the water away from the heat for six minutes for a soft boiled egg and seven minutes will give you a hard boiled egg. At the end of your cooking time, plunge your eggs into cold water, otherwise they will keep cooking and you'll end up with either hard boiled or black eggs. And that was a quick guide to kitcheny eggs. If you've got any questions, please let us know in the comments and maybe what you'd like to see next. Indeed, please like, comment and subscribe and see you next time. Drop your eggs gently in from as low to the surface as you can get without burning your fingers. Ah, well that was a good That was terrible.